morning guys, or good afternoon, whatever time it is where you are, or you're watching. Um, so today I think I'm going to continue more on the flare, but I was actually looking into ways of doing the rear arches on the rear bumper easier, because I really, really, really do not like expanding foam. It's a dumb concept to me, but basically I was thinking I could just, I could just literally cut out the arch. I don't really know how this is, but I think it's dry. Before I even do that, I think I'm gonna make sure that it works. But basically, I would put the bumper as if it's on, obviously, and then um, actually make like a pe paper template that continues off from here and kind of concaves to the bumper perfectly and goes all the way down to there. And fill that with fiberglass, have it have a slight curve, and then make the edge just like we would on a flare. So we're almost making basically half a flare, or a quarter of a flare, or a third of a flare, just for this. Um, and then with the edge, I know the measurements, it's supposed to be like three, it's almost four inches on the bottom for this piece, and it kind of gets thinner and thinner and thinner, and then it kind of goes into the flare perfectly. So I think that might be easier to make as a fiberglass flare, just like I've been making all the flares, because that's how I know how to do the best, in my opinion. So that might be a lot easier. Obviously, I would just have to make my bumper sit as if, as it's gonna be mounted and stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna put the flare on the back burner for now. Um, all I'm really gonna do is kind of have to hold it up to the car just to see. But I already kind of know how wide it's gonna be because I just have to measure this part. That's really it, and then I can contour off of that head and start making the bumper work. <laughs> So I know what I just did makes no sense to you and it doesn't even make any sense to me because quite honestly I'm kind of learning as I do this. That's why I don't really make a commentary as I do this because I kind of mess up and I redo stuff. As you guys saw, that first side I made, I messed up. So I did it on the other side of the paper, but basically the top portion is measured five inches, which is exactly what the flare is. It contours to the body fairly well and then it has that signature curve on the bottom. And then where you saw this mark is where I need to tape in um, a piece of paper just so it goes all the way to the bottom. Basically, I know there's a vent there, you don't have to tell me, believe me, that's like the last piece. But basically I'm going to have to lay this on the flare, slightly curved, and build it with fiberglass. And then once I lay it on there and uh, get the curve correct, I can make the giant fat edge. And I don't really know how I'm going to make the edge that goes around the corner, but... See, I taped it on now. It has somewhat of a curve. Um, this foam flare that we made originally is so useful because it's so great for just getting the general curve. I cut out two sheets, that's all I'm going to do, two sheets, just so it'll still be a super, super thin and flexible. And that means that if we do need to curve it more, we can and stuff like that. Because if you add too much, it's, it makes it really hard because when the fiberglass forms to a curve, it usually stays in that. It's still flexible, it has give, but it always tries to return to the form is my point. So two sheets for now. Then we'll uh, make sure that the curve is correct because I know at like some point there's supposed to be more of a curve than normal. It's weird, but um, and then we'll actually lay this part flat and start to build up the fiberglass on for the edge and stuff, and then that'll basically cast its permanent shape. Same thing as the flares, just a much smaller piece, basically. <laughs>
around it now, as you can see. And look at that. Perfect. Perfect tight fit. Literally, actually, really nice. This is better than what the flares, or this is better than how the flares fit, quite honestly. So basically, um, the guy with the 118 scale model, he gave me the thicknesses of that. Um, as I said, the corner of this flare is 1.5 all around. Obviously that side is wrong, this side is right, but we'll, don't worry about that side, we can always add on material. And then he gave me thicknesses of the siding of that, and I just transferred them onto the paper. So now I'm going to be making this edge. For the curved edge that's over here, it's going to have to be, probably going to have to make paper and curve it and kind of make it 3D and then build from the inside. But for now we're just going to make this edge. This is the curve that I need. As you can see it's taped on, and I made the markings where it should be. Um, I have the four or five layers of fiberglass cut and I'm going to go do that. So just ignore the front because it doesn't have to flex to mount. Don't worry about that, everything will be good, but just peek this little teaser thing. Hopefully you guys are excited about that. I think it looks really, really good. It's just really cool to see like the flyer totally completed and everything like that. Ooh, here comes a security guard. He's so tough. He's such a cute little weasel. So um, I'll be back on Monday with a new video, or Monday night actually. Um, because we're going, like I said, for Rachel's birthday into like the woods and stuff. So hopefully next week I can finish off that arch, do the other arch. Honestly, my goal is by the end of next week, have the whole rear end done and on. That's, that's my goal. I don't think that's too big of a goal with the progress. I mean, I have both flares already made. I just need to make the other arch. That's kind of really it. I need to figure out a way to mount the rear bumper, the corners, because of the OEM stuff is cut out. We'll figure out a way, but it's all looking very promising. And then after next week, we can start the front finally. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend.